<laughs> what up everybody welcome to carpool karaoke we have a great setup now i figured out how to do a setup and yep. look who we've got the bestie the one and only gail <laughs> Somebody thought she was Gail there, yeah, but it's, 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 a joke. It's, it's a joke. I don't get it. Anyways, the Lauren Spencer Smith, Miss Fingers Crossed herself, woo, 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 aka woo. my little sis, aka giving me positive yeah. vibes, <laughs> aka not a great co host. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, you guys know how this works. We're gonna play some songs. Honestly, all of you guys know Lauren's songs, so we're not even gonna do covers. We're just gonna freaking do Lauren's songs. Yeah. So here we go. Let's Ooh. just make sure that I don't crash the car while we're driving. Okay, she go wants ahead. a reason to get her Lexus. Right. <laughs> Introduced me to Woo! Watched my favorite shows on your TV. Made me breakfast in the morning when you got home from work. Wasn't that good? Right. <laughs> now I remember when you called me late at night. And I give you my hours and advice just trying to fix you. And all your daddy issues, but now I don't even miss you anymore. So I on how to write your songs all you did was prove me wrong when you said you loved me well you must have had your fingers crossed fire have famous part i could say i'm sorry but i'm not <laughs> you don't deserve the one thing that you lost now i remember when you called me late at night and i give you my Advice just trying to fix you and all your daddy issues, but now I don't even miss you anymore. So I, I want all the tears back that I cried. All the hours spent giving advice on how to write your songs. All you did was prove me wrong when you said you loved me. Well, you must have had your fingers crossed. Okay, so this song's really funny because Lauren at the time, some of you guys know this, some of you guys don't know this, but Lauren literally stayed with me for like four months. Yeah. She was like in our spare bedroom, <laughs> in the downstairs bedroom, like just vibing living out. Living it up. Living it up. And we would just Riverside, like- shout out! <laughs> shout out Riverside! <laughs> so we would just every day either have a session or have some kind of content yeah. day. We'd be driving out to LA, like doing all this craziness. And one of our really good friends, Jake Clark, she was in a session with him and he was like, dude, I think you should write a song yeah. called Fingers Crossed. And so she got back in the car and she's like, Jake had this really good idea. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's yeah. brilliant. You're you have to it. use that. Yeah, it. you have to take it. You have to use it or whatever. And then I dropped her off at that session, you guys. I did, I wasn't even in it, you guys. I came back after the fact. And literally was like, this song's a banger. <laughs> it was so freaking pressed, you guys. And like, we've literally written like hundreds of songs together. So many. And it's never my song that gets released. <laughs> it's going to be you guys though, cause yeah, the album. We're about to drop, not we're you, but we're about to drop an album. We're pregnant. <laughs> but anyways, Lauren's about to drop an album. I don't think you have a title yet, do you? No. Okay. So there's no title yet. We will get the we will get the title though for sure. Yeah. I have a few songs on the album, so that's good. Yay! We're gonna show some songs that are on the album, the album. that nobody has heard yet. Y'all, this is another sad vibe. Lauren's famous phrase is, "He didn't validate my emotion. <laughs> Just totally <laughs> invalidated me." Back then, I was like, "You." When did, when did the word invalidate it start being yeah, a thing? Yeah. You say it way too much. You know, we've been through a lot. We've been through a lot, <laughs> we have in, been my, through a lot. in my 35 years on life. <laughs> yeah, okay. Ooh. I love how I can hear the piano sound though. Like it right? actually being played. It sounds like a grand piano. Yeah, it sounds uh, really cool. Guess the flowers aren't just used for big apologies Guess I should have been more conscious how you spoke to me When we fight you give me space and I communicate For a while I thought that's what I should appreciate Maybe I was holding on to what I 
thought you were But when you think too hard, eventually it starts to hurt The version of you in my head, now I know wasn't true Young people fall for the wrong people, guess my one was you Woo! I mean, that was for both parties, that last yeah. line that last line was for both parties <laughs> to the nth degree. Yeah, yeah. So let's just ask a question. Is this about the same person as my first Yes. This is yes. a different version. Yes. <laughs> yes, but this one is more about Matt, my boyfriend. Shut up, Matt. He is the bomb. He's the best, sweetest, nicest guy I've yes, ever met. Yes, we love Matt. Seriously, is such a king. But he started treating me right, and it started making me just reflect on just... Was specifically one person, but kind of just other people in my life right. that had treated me badly. You know, they gave me space when you're supposed to communicate. They would only buy me things or do things nice for me when they were sorry. Right. They wouldn't just do them. You know, my boyfriend buys me flowers every three yeah, days. Yeah, just because. Because he's like, I love you, babe. Yeah. You, you had a hard day. Mm -hmm. Whereas this person would only do it when they were sorry. And right. it just made me. So when I say, like, I guess it's me learning all these new things that are you're supposed to do from my boyfriend. And yeah. reflecting it. What's the, how, what's the, like, the actual line of, like, how it says the flowers? I guess the flowers. I guess the flowers aren't just used for big apologies. Right. Because they aren't. Because they are not. If you're in a relationship and you're only getting flowers because of apologies, yeah. that ain't the one. That ain't the one. And you then the next on. line, too, like, I guess I should have been more conscious how you spoke to me. Like, when you're so wrapped up with somebody, yeah. you don't really recognize how they speak to you. Right. And, like, even just going back in my text or, like, remembering back to things they said to me, I'm like, that wasn't right. Yeah. Like, the way somebody said that to you was not cool. Yeah. And, you know, so when someone comes in your life and starts treating you right, you start to realize all of that. Yeah. Not me being like, oop, I think my boyfriend might need to break up. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, that'll do it. <laughs> Shout out Ben. <laughs> Ben's like, you know what? Lauren's right. <laughs> I gotta drop Gina. Yeah. <laughs> That's oh on God. being self-aware. Yes. <laughs> so Lauren and I actually have one song Ooh. that we've released. We do have one, so we need all of you guys to go blow it up. Bigger than Back to Friends. Bigger than Fingers Crossed. <laughs> imagine if like from imagine, this video, imagine. it just like goes bigger Insane. than like I'd be like, yeah. oh my gosh. But anyways, we wrote a song called For Granted uh, that we love. Ironically enough, it's about the same. <laughs> Should we like low key like just like trickle titles that are gonna be on your album? Yeah. Okay. We so we'll name some of the ones that we've done. <laughs> yep. Since we're both in the car. Number one, we have a song called "Love Is an Overstatement" that is Fire. gonna be on the album. Yep. Love would be an overstatement. Great. Fire. Uh, we have one called "Never Been in Love." Right. Which is a lie now. I'm in love. Yes, good. And I don't care who knows it. <laughs> okay, what what's another one? Um, we have? Well, we're writing one. Oh, well, this is when, true. When the party's over. When the party's over, we're writing one right now that we think it's gonna be. It's, it's gonna already be gonna solid. be fire. Yeah, we can already tell it's, it's gonna, gonna be, gonna be fire. We have a song called "I Love You," which is actually cute. It's actually about yeah. your. And it's the first song we ever wrote, and I ever wrote. Is it the we actual very song. first one that we ever yes. wrote? Yes. So wow. no, we wrote songs for like DJs. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is the first song we wrote for, for you. Me. So another one, possibly what, eighteen? Oh yeah, eighteen's on it. Eighteen's on yeah. it. Yeah. Maybe we should do that. Yeah, let's do eighteen. This one's not even leaked yet on social media. Ooh, getting the exclusive. <laughs> and I'm just waiting on. I wish I was eighteen. Cause I grew up away without a parent calling or checking. Without the party stopping Make my mistakes by the double Without me getting in trouble Start living my dream When I turn 18 oh, 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 oh. When I turn 18 Anyways, that's a little sneak peek of all the stuff Straight up bangers <laughs> Banger rangers. Obviously, go string fingers crossed. If you don't know who Lauren is, you need to go follow her right now. Here is her handle. Ding. And G W E N A. Oh yeah, right. Wow, I'm getting the shout out now. Let's go. But anyways, you guys, we love Lauren. Go show Lauren some support. Go pre-save her song flowers and go stream flowers. Go. Peace, love, and chicken grease. I'll see you later.